Hi, I'm Jeff Kleinman with BevNet, and I'm here at Expo West with the eminent Gary Hirschberg, the chief organic optimist of Stonyfield, and we're going to catch up at a crucial point in Stonyfield's development. It's really nice to have you, Jeff. <laughs> thank you for hosting me at your booth. Honestly, thank you for hosting me at your conference. Um, it's been about 18 months since Stonyfield left Denon and moved to Lactalis. Yes. And I wanted to see if we could get a quick pulse on where you think things are with the company. Yeah. No, it's, listen, it's a, a great rebirth time for us. Uh, as you know, Denon is pretty wide and pretty, pretty deep in, in yogurt. Lactalis. We are the yogurt. Of course, now they bought Siggy since. So we're a real priority for them. Yep. Uh, it's a private company, to be candid. It's a whole lot better place to be than in a public environment. Frankly, uh, there's a lot of things you do in the public environment that uh, were an, an anathema to me as an entrepreneur. Sure. Lots of lawyers and lots of... Um, but also, uh, you know, Lactalis is actually a much bigger company than... It's like literally the biggest dairy company nobody knows of. Yeah. And and yet they've really been behind in the U.S. and especially uh, on organic. And they now have an announced ambition to be the largest organic dairy in the world. So uh, you're so going to show is, them how to do it? Well, we're certainly having a blast again. I mean, to be really very honest with you, as I always am, um, you know, things had not been as great under Danon in the last couple of years. There's um, uh, more organization, at the, more verticality at the top, more top-down controls. And that meant that in terms of communications, you know, there was a lot of talk about probiotics, which is all very interesting, but yep. not about the stuff that really excites me, which is our commitment to uh, changing over playing fields all over America from conventional to organic, fighting glyphosate, raising awareness that really if you want to protect your families, organic is the only way. And, and we've got a company now that truly embraces that. There's sort of a reemergence of mission Without in, an, a, in an active sense. Without a doubt. Literally, the morning after they got the uh, bid, uh, they won the bid, they called me and we had breakfast and they said, look, whatever you were doing during that ramp up from seven cows to almost 400 million, you know, will you come back and do it again? I mean, I, truthfully, I had not been that active with Denon. No, you were sort last, of over it well, for a couple of years. You know, I was actually it. helping them in Europe and yeah. I helped with the white, put the White Wave deal together. Uh, but... Uh, no, so I, I said, look, uh, I will do this, but it's 2018 and or 2017, leading up to the midterms. You need to know that we're going to be, I'm going to be political, and so we, the, I, the first thing we did was we put our hats, uh, we, we printed out 60,000 hats that said "Make Earth Cool Again" with the Stonyfield logo and a hashtag, and off to the races we went. And again, in a private company environment, you're just freer to be to have a point of view. Yeah. Um, we launched this fields program that I'm incredibly excited about. Uh, literally, uh, you know, 66% of America's playing fields and parks are treated to a, 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 a cocktail of three herbicides that are carcinogens. So no matter how much organic you eat, if your kid or your dog or you go out for a walk or a roll in the park, uh, you're literally in the biggest organ of your body. You're bringing pesticides, herbicides into your skin. We've now, for our 35th birthday, we're adopting 35 cities across the country. And we've got partners, little partners like Walmart, who are helping yep. us to roll this out. That's, again, with full sanction by this uh, very uh, open-minded company. So it's, it's, it's an exciting time. Ta oh, and I, uh, let me also say very, since I know, you know, we got a lot of processors watching this, um, first CapEx into our factory since I was CEO. It, and, and there's literally a 35, 40 million dollar uh, investment going into drinks and all of our new innovation. So it's, it's, a, it's a great time for the company. And we're growing again. So I want to ask, in the three or four years that you were in other pastures, how much has the industry evolved so that you could pull in a partner like Walmart on mission? Yeah. Well, Walmart, uh, we, you know, we were the first organic company in any sector to sell to Walmart back in the early 90s. I took a lot of grief from my left, as you yeah. might imagine, you know, dealing with the devil. But now, as you know, they're one of the leading buyers and sellers of organic in the world. That part has not really changed. What has changed 
in these last three or four years is, you know, we used to be the organic yogurt at this show. Maybe us and that other name company that starts with an H. Now, you know, there's 10 or 12. Of course, plant-based yogurt didn't exist in this category five years ago. And now, look, there's an explosion of it. Uh, so, you know, you've got a lot more consumer choice, a lot more dynamism. And like so many other segments that you cover, you have uh, incredible competition for every SKU. In my day, you had six months to uh, prove your product on the shelf. Now, I mean, a number of the big retailers here have, um, uh, you know, in internal software that in 30 to 45 days, they can tell your trajectory if you're going to get the velocity. So you don't have that freedom. And because of the amount of money in the space, there's always somebody willing to pay. And so, as you know, under pressure from e-com, uh, retail is, uh, you know, only happy to pull dollars from um, uh, uh, vendors. And so it means you've, you've got to hit the sh ground really running. Your, your, your window for success is much, much smaller than it used to be. Gary, there's a lot of innovation in the dairy case right now and a lot in yogurt. First of all, as a company where organic was the key innovation, uh, is it hard to sort of ramp back up into a heavy innovation cycle? It's, these are great questions, and we have how many hours to talk about this? Uh, no, uh, no kidding aside, when we when we started, you know, just to sort of level set this, there were two kinds of yogurt, right? 1983, big cups and little cups, yep. right? Today, there's spoonable, there's drinkable, there's squeezable, there's pouches, there's our new snack packs, right? Yeah, you it's know, very combining. packaging dependent. It, it, is, it is, and the formats, and it's all about one-handed eating, which of course you're seeing everywhere. And it's also about, uh, you know, the consumer wanting it all, right? Innovation. So, uh, uh, we had never stopped innovating, uh, but now, as I just said, we're finally getting money from a parent who's putting money into the company instead of taking it out. You know, we, we were quite profitable during the Denon period, and Denon used those profits for other things. Lactalis is reinvesting, yeah. and that's going to give us a lot more flexibility. So we have, um, you know, we're back on fire, really, with you, innovations right now. You feel special again. We feel special. We feel loved. Um, look, they're a cheese company. I mean, yeah. fundamentally, you know, President and, and, and so many others. But they are, um, you know, they bought Siggy, so now we can go in to see the trade and, and, and be a, uh, a big piece of the shelf together. Um, Do you and Siggy go in and make calls together? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because Siggy, listen, we were old friends. I mean, honestly, he and I talked for years about finding a way to combine this wasn't exactly how we planned it, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, no, we're we're out there and look, um, you know, every subset uh, has its day. A Greek could do no wrong for a while, and obviously Icelandic, high protein, low sugar. But now, uh, what's growing fastest for us is kids' products, um, and uh, and and of course uh, uh, the drinkables and the portables and all of that kind of thing. So, um, you know, we're in a period now where, uh, as I say, it, for the consumer, obviously it's taste first. Yep. And, 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 and convenience is right there. But now organic with the millennial consumer, it's, it's I mean, it, that's a, now a key competitive advantage. It's, it's almost an anti, and yet, the other sort of innovation that I wanted to ask about is the, uh, the plant-based trend. Now, you, yes. your organization has just started to step its feet into plant-based yogurts? Sort of. Don't forget we were the first soy yogurt out there yeah. for about 20 years. Now soy has, That's not the, day has come. That, that may gone. not be the easiest no. claim to want to make <laughs> at this point. No, soy is over. Uh, no, it's, um, uh, we have a, uh, we have a product that's been introduced to our customers that is a non-dairy item that's being taken up right away. I can't tell you what it is at this moment, but it will be out very soon. Uh, and we're working on a number of innovations in this space right now. Uh, anybody who thinks plant-based is a fad is not paying attention. Uh, what's interesting though is to see some of the hybrids out there. Um, you can add coconut to dairy, for example, and enhance sure. the dairy. Uh, my son, who you know perfectly well with his MCTs, uh, Ethan's, uh, uh, the MCT shots are flying right now. It's a, the coconut fat uh, is something that people are appreciating. And as you're well aware, there's a ton of other 
plant-based uh, innovations. And look, I'm on the board of Forager, so I, you know, I, I, I literally have a foot in both worlds. Um, you know, Lactalis, quite candidly, uh, sees us, uh, they're, dairy, they're the world's largest dairy yeah. company. And they need to uh, understand, and I'm helping them to understand, that we're more than a dairy company, we're an organic company. And when you're an organic company, you have really, in my opinion, uh, you have broad license to move horizontally into lots of other places, and, and we will have to be in plan. You have to be. Well, listen, I appreciate very much your taking the time to yeah, speak with us. Yeah, it's great to see you. Always.